Hi and welcome to month two of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So I've got this beautiful little pouch I got from Kath at the Happen Store in Sydney. She hand dyes these pouches and stitches on them. So I've got background and embellishment themes in here. There we go, I've got a B for background and an E for embellishment. Luckily pulled out too. Okay, so here's our background. Neutral textiles, neutral colours. You can interpret that the way you want. And our embellishment theme is fancy flowers. That will go quite nicely together. So neutral themes could be beiges, creams, tea dyed, whites, whatever you want. You can interpret that the way you want. So I had a little think about mine. And what I really want to do is I want to do fairly white. So most of these textiles I've pulled out, laces and things are... Um, old ones, old bits and pieces, little scraps, and I want to work out um, a background using these. And then on top of it, I want lots of bright colors for my flowers. So my neutral background, I'm having a look through these different threads and there's some really pretty ones there, bits and pieces that I've acquired. And I'm going to work out shortly how I want to put them onto my foundation piece. I quite like that piece. I think I might use that. That one I discard because it's a little bit too creamy. And I'm going more for the um, basic white. So when I'm talking about bright flowers, I love all these Liberty prints. It's a bit of um, selvage that I might use and these gorgeous fabrics that I got from Lilworth Blue. Um, this little one came off the bottom of a, I think they're called Dilly Bags. And I really like the flowers. Another one from Lewith Blue and that one as well, I think, and some more Liberty scraps. So that's the kind of thing when I'm saying I want white, white background with bright flowers. Now, I also love this fabric. So it's an Anna Maria Horner, Anna Maria fabric, and the bird design is from Natalie Lett, who is um, an artist that I absolutely love, a French artist. So just playing around with bits and pieces um, so that I can work out what I'm going to do. So this is my foundation piece. And I I really love that one, but I don't think it's quite going to work in what the vision that I've got in my head. So I'm just auditioning different pieces of lace. I think I called them threads before, but they're laces. Um, to see what I want to use. So I like this um, to give an all, all over cover. So... Um, this month I wanted to do my background quite different to last month. Last month was lots of sort of patchworky pieces of fabric all brought together with canvas, canvas style stitching. Um, this time I'm going to do it different so that I've got a different look. I don't want everything looking the same. As much as I love canvas style stitching, um, this one I'm going to attach differently. So just snipping off my piece of fabric so that it pretty much covers my base. And playing around with bits of laces and trims just to see if I can add some more in. That's really pretty, although it's a little bit more creamy and less white. So this is like a piece of old cuff, I think. Snip that off to square up the edge. And just working out which is the right size. And now I think I might attach that to the top. Possibly the creamy piece might come in later. I don't want to do too much in my background here because I do have some ideas of things that are going to go on top. Not all the white's going to be covered, but quite a bit. So if I add lots of interesting things, they'll end up getting covered. 
Now that I have a bit of an idea of how I want my background to look, I'm going to firstly sew this piece of trim along the bottom again so it will stick out the edge of my book. And this will, the, the part where I sew will actually be covered so I don't need to be too neat with it. Using some of my vintage white cotton, I'm going to do just a simple running stitch to tack it in place. So I've pinned that larger piece over the top and you can see that the stitching on the lace or the trim is covered. Now I'm going to do just tiny little overcast stitches just on the edge to hold the larger piece of fabric in place and attach to the base piece of fabric. So they're just tiny little overcast stitches. So I've come along the bottom and now what I'm doing is I'm going to come up the side. On this one I just do little tiny stitches just along the side there, just a little bit in from the edge because my edge is a little bit further extended out from my base fabric. So if I did stitch on the edge I wouldn't be capturing the base fabric below. Um, even though you can see the tiny stitches, they're only little, but you can see them. A lot of this stuff will be covered up when I start to embellish my piece. Once I've finished stitching the whole way up the side, I come across the top and then down where the little holes are. So just stitching over every second or third thread to hold it in place. So I'm just finding natural parts on this larger piece of fabric to stitch down so it'll be quite small and you won't really see it. So I've now stitched around all the edges so the whole piece of fabric is held in place. Again at the top here I'm stitching just a little bit down from the top because my top fabric is slightly larger than my base fabric. And once I've done all of this I'm going to do a little bit of stitching around that lace detail that's on the fabric. So just doing stitches around the outer edge of the lace 
and then I also do it on the inner edge of the lace to secure it because when I'm stitching over the top I don't want my fabric becoming all skewed as it will look funny. So I feel that that large piece of fabric is nicely stitched down and I'm going to add this little bit of lace trim which is quite interesting. I know you can't see it too well but it's got some lovely detail on there, that trim. Again using the same type of cotton, just my vintage white cotton, I'm going to do little stitches up and down and around this piece of lace to hold it in place. I start by stitching along the side to make sure that it's lined up nicely and then I will stitch up and down some of the other lines as well. This is the last piece I'm going to put on for my background before I start layering up some of my ideas. As I said, I just want it to be really simple and just white, mostly white. Um, and then I'll be adding some different elements and colors and the fancy flowers on top. So a shorter video this week um, with pretty basic stitching. To show you that your backgrounds don't need to be too elaborate but you can build on a fairly straightforward foundation so I hope you've enjoyed seeing what the new themes are for this month and I look very much forward to seeing all the beautiful creations that you're going to post on Instagram Facebook and also here on YouTube so thanks for watching and I will see you next week where I will be doing some more decoration. Bye.